Leslie Cornwell, Certified Nurse Midwife with Midwifery Business Consultation. Um, this topic I want to do for our short clip has to do with who can start a midwifery practice. I get that question a lot um, in two parts. One, regulatory side. Can I run a midwifery practice in my own state? Do I need to have supervisory? Do I? Can I get a business license on my own for the practice? How autonomous can I be? Is it possible to run my own private practice in my state? But then there's also the side of the mindset. There's a lot of midwives that maybe they're in a very autonomous state, but they don't have the mindset to really grasp what being a business owner is like. Um, there's two types of people in this world. There's the entrepreneurial spirit where they, they tend to be creative. They tend to think outside the box. They tend to question everything, which I think innately a lot of midwives are. And then there's the ones that like more of the security and the comfort of the bigger system and the paychecks and the bigger organization worrying about the backdrop system and flow and um, being part of one piece of the puzzle. And there's nothing wrong with either side, but when we're talking about starting a private practice and is it a good fit for every single midwife, it isn't um, based on their state regulations and the type of midwife they are. Um, but I always stress that word security, always be careful with because as midwives, I personally believe we have far more security starting our own practices and doing it on our own terms than working for someone else. Our bigger healthcare system in the United States is not set up at this point for a generalized midwifery friendly environment. There are localized pockets all over the country and I say kudos to those midwives that have found them. But overall, I truly am biased that private practice and, and filling in these needs all over the country are gonna be done by midwives and their business side their creativity this new era is really coming so there's certain types of midwives to open private practices they have to be a little more risk takers they have to think outside the box they have to think long term the first couple years typically starting a practice you may or may not make money it's about the long-term investment it's about you're going to in a compounding amount of time make way more money in five seven ten years than someone else that's always going to be working for the system so i always want to challenge midwives why do you want to start a private practice what services do you want to offer? What structure do you want to be? And do you have the skills currently or are you open to train to being a leader, to being a business owner? Because working for someone else is very different than working for yourself. So think about your state regulations. Can you even start a practice? Are you willing to move to find a location that has the needs of what you want to start? Um, and do you have the knowledge and skills and the mental mindset to be a business owner?